a dance of devotion and deception. In the late 16th century, the workshop of Jacopo Tintoretto birthed a masterpiece that would encapsulate an era and a biblical narrative, the worship of the golden calf. The painting, rich in detail and emotion, transports viewers to a pivotal moment of collective ecstasy and idolatry. Amidst a lush landscape, dozens are drawn into the magnetic pull of a golden calf, an idol signifying wealth and prosperity. The warm light illuminates their flowing cloaks, casting ethereal glows that contrast against the dark rocky outcroppings. Every fold of fabric, every strand of hair is meticulously rendered, a testament to Tintoretto's workshop's mastery. At the center of the painting, between the tents and the group around the calf, a single bearded man with white hair walks toward our right in profile, the arm we can see extended. The landscape beyond the people has a lake lined with trees at the foot of the hazy mountain, which almost reaches the top of the composition. Finally, in the upper right corner, atop the rocky outcropping close to us, a person, seen from the waist down, kneels, wearing a rose-pink garment. Golden-yellow flames flicker out around and behind the person. The elderly man on our left is emblematic of wisdom yet ensnared in this dance of devotion. His amber-brown robe mirrors the earth, his gaze is fixed upon something beyond our view, perhaps questioning this momentary lapse into idol worship. On our right, women with skin kissed by light gather around a table adorned with fruits, symbols of abundance yet also temptation. Their gazes are directed upwards, they too are entranced by something unseen yet profoundly felt. This painting captures not just a biblical tale but also reflects Venice in 1594 opulent yet on the brink, devout yet decadent. It's an era where artistry flourished amidst societal contradictions. As viewers immerse themselves in this artwork's intricate details, from the rust-red cloaks symbolizing earthly desires to the hazy blue mountains embodying spiritual ascension, they're invited to reflect upon their own dance between devotion and deception. <laughs>